Oh! Right, so, hi, hello again. Uh, about half an hour ago, we had one of the surfers come down voluntarily. I mean, <coughs> his bedding was so wet. Morning. <coughs> his uh, his bedding was so wet and horrible. He just couldn't take. He couldn't. Honestly, amazing that he stayed so long up there. It was fantastic. If you want to sip the coffee, it's got honey in. <laughs> We shared everything, <laughs> and uh, it looks uh, it looks like they've got two or three lorries that were here away, and we just left. We left now with the three lorries with the servers on. Hi, good morning, Sammy. Uh, the servers have been voluntarily. If they choose to come down, they're going to be arrested for public nuisance. <laughs> Yeah. So that's uh, yeah, public news. to facilitate people like that local business which is the we're between the rock and the hard place yeah but we had to make before down there yeah. that because of what the protesters were doing or the protectors was doing yesterday yes by sitting on the road stopping ambulances coming well through. yesterday i think we're, you were i'm not so i'm not sure if you were here yesterday no i was they watching live stream okay so stream. you saw the lock-ons over the road with people blocking which, which side farm, was, so which side was they on that side over there on the opposite side of the road. When it's farm, the complete road closure. There's, um, right across. Yeah, right across. Yeah. Oh, I didn't realise. So realize yeah, that. complete winter closure here. Then obviously with what your um, fellow campaigners are doing here, there's obviously disruption on this side. Yeah, but that's open over there, though, isn't it? Oh no, yeah, it is. I think. At well, some I didn't realise. So whether I, not your colleagues here who were here, I'm not sure, but there was at some point there was. But that is, if I'm right to understand that. That is why the council has took the action what they've done today. Well, you said to me that I had to, we had to take what we like to the council. Yeah, it would be a breach of the breach, breach of the traffic management plan. Is not a police. It's not. A, it's it, 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 it's the council yeah. has done. To, so I don't know. I, I think it's fine. Until they say they haven't got anybody to police or nobody to follow it through. Can I just can I just send this one text? Because I've got some. I'll come back to you. Is that all right? Okay, I'm trying to... Is that spine? Uh, no, I'm watching that lorry there. Okay. You're paranoid, mate. I know. Don't, don't be. Why not? I know, it's bad, isn't it? Yeah. It's a bad sign. He hasn't moved. Why isn't he moving?
Right, you can see that the uh, the view outside of Maple Farm has changed this morning. Uh, one surfer. <laughs> well, you know, they're paranoid, man. It's, uh, why the hell do I want to spy on him, for God's sake? Uh, no, I saw, like we said, one, one, one surfer. One surfer got done voluntary about half an hour ago, then the police went up to the people in front of the lorries saying they would be arrested if they didn't move, the ones that didn't have surfers on board. And it looks like, I think, is it, is it three lorries have moved now? Four lorries have gone. <coughs> there's, the, there's the remnants of the... Uh, <laughs> that's the remnants of the people that were in front of one of the lorries. So now we've, all we have now is three lorries... Yes. Yeah. Uh, it's, funny uh, it's a public nuisance. It is, that's what that, that, yeah. I th couldn't we get loads of people in front of that lorry? Because I think they'll um, charge those two lying there with another. Oh no, they'll ask them to move again. They're just like you asked these and they moved out of the way. Yeah, but they've arrested them. Oh, have they arrested yeah, them? Yeah, oh, they've sorry. arrested them most unnecessarily. Right, yeah. Witnesses. So I think, well, you know, if, if people. Come out and sit there. Then everybody will get. Loads of people, they can. Don't they? So okay, anybody so. else that goes in front of the wagon will be arrested, which is a pointless arrest now. Yeah. Oh, Silver Commander. We have Silver Commander here. So something's happening. No, that's Silver. Which one? No, one on left, right, or middle? Are no, you sure? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's not Robbie Shaw. Yeah, they've been told by the so yeah, what? Sorry, There's a yeah. section on that section notice. Sorry. Oh, well, I thought that was I thought that was silver because he's got his PA and the HQ guy there. That's with they're the woman to, attached. They're both from HQ. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, the the uh, the one with the high vis. Yeah, shit. Yeah. Okay, they're from HQ. Yeah, they're, they're yeah. sent down by the yeah. Silver, silver kind of kind of That's why. I, I yeah. can't see, I've got my yeah, reading glasses on, Bob. <laughs> so that, that, that sergeant's got a real bad attitude. I've seen him in op op yeah. operation before. Yeah. 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 Morning. On, right. Going yeah, I'm going there. Yeah. Right. So they've, uh, what they've done now is they've taken all the little fluffies away, all the little fluffy piece, all the little, uh, all the uh, police women and police men who've been friendly overnight, and they've brought in the, uh, you know, the tight gaiters and the uh, the fancy gloves because they're all they've all got cold hands, and uh, so the, the whole atmosphere has changed here. We've had uh, people in front of one of the lorries who were sleeping on the floor have been taken away and arrested. Uh, don't, I'm not sure what the charge is. We think it's public nuisance, but we'll find out later. We've still got two people in front of this lorry, but there's a surfer on top as well. Still a surfer on top of there. Uh, oh, well. So Surfer 4, he's been up there now, what, 24 hours, uh, 20 hours. Uh, he got on yesterday morning. Oh, massive, you know, massive. And uh, these two lads here, I don't know what time it is now, is it 5 o'clock or something? Uh, <laughs> piano tune is in a good mood. Mad Bob and Crazy Bob. <laughs> So they've been up there now 45 hours? No, 8 o'clock the other morning, so it's 5, 6 now, 40. 
minus a couple, four, no, 45, 46 hours. Eight o'clock will be 48 hours. Yes. Oh. Stuff. Don't know what's in, who knows what's in cream, anything can be in a container, can it? Uh, oh. What? What? The Hypothetically, allegedly, we don't know. It's a, in a container. No. So the, the lorries have come out as well now? They've gone in and come out, yeah. they facilitated everything. Right. Yeah. So uh, there's been a... Send any police vehicles on to site again. The police just put, uh, stood all the way along the front. So the convoy went in about four o'clock this morning and the lorries have been unloaded and they're already out again. So just loads of loads of containers, could, be, could contain anything, but uh, a convoy that size, there was a reason for it. <laughs> crisps 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 and onions crisps crisps my kids have got nothing to wear, they really. Live. Is it? Yeah. Can you just hold that and just kind of point it that way? Thanks. Yeah, it's got like uh, about six. Oh, no. it's rubbish holding a fag in your glove that's not lit. <laughs> <laughs> right, I just, I've just managed to light my cigarette again so I can talk again. Oh, it's too early in the morning. This, hey, I'm old, you know. I'm too old for this rubbish. Mm? Oh, you got one. You got your own. You got your own coffee, bloody hell. <laughs> you got tea? Oh, it's... What's very nice, that? Yeah, it's... Uh... Oh! The roach came out, man. Hey. Yeah, but his bank balance will be big. Do you even know what a conscience <laughs> is? Not be that big. Eight pound thirty an hour. Oh, and he's got to walk six miles to work. Hey, hey. One of the missing links to the iron on the gate. Oh, I saw that. It's, it's just. I, did, I didn't wake you up for about an hour. Right, <laughs> I gave you an extra hour in bed, Sasuke. We had, we had a few that was out, so... Aye, oh, fluff. But uh, it went, when bronze came and all them from HQ, when they started moving lorries and they brought in the, the boots, the boots brigade. I like him at the end there, he's got a pair of Mickey Mouse socks on. He's got the pull his trousers down so I can't see them. <laughs> Pretty yellow and white ones. <laughs> I've got it on live stream. I've got his socks on live stream. <laughs> anyway, so I oh, it looks really weird here without these lorries. We've run them for so long, yeah. so long. Oh, hey, good morning, folks. Oh, forgive me 
for not giving you much documentary this morning, but oh my, it's too early. Huh? All kinds of stuff are happening here. Look. The, the HQ team over there on the far side feeling his moustache. Yeah. HQ. We've got Hannah talking to her bronze commander. And we're just waiting to see what happens. Uh, if you haven't heard the news, we've, we've, had, we've had a big convoy, about 15 lorries have gone into the uh, have gone into the site this morning and they're already out. They've been unloaded and they've been removed. So the, the lorry drivers are moving now, talking to each other. Just going back to the front lorry now. See what happens. See if he fires up his Xbox or if he fires up his engine. <laughs> right, oh. And my fag's gone out again, you know, it's like, what can I do? Huh? Oh, look, yes, look at it. <laughs> it's all spilt over the sides because I've been in the window. But, uh, yeah, it's disgusting coffee. It's not nice. Thank you very much, uh, cheers. Breakfast. <laughs> yeah, the lorry's fired up now. So the front lorry turned on his engine. Look at this, look at that stance, look at that stance. Hey? Eh? Oh. Mm. Hey? Yeah, of course, it, of course it's breaking the traffic management agreements, yeah, but they, uh, that's it, you know. Emergency plans, they can, uh, they can do what they want. So all you can do is report to the council, you know, breach of management plans, but they'll say they've got uh, special emergency plans because of what's happening here, and uh, let them go in. So we still have a surfer on the top there. Surfer 4 got on yesterday morning, so he's been on what, 25, uh, 21 hours? So, got on yesterday morning about 8 o'clock, 6, 22 hours. Was he up then? We have got, well I don't even know what day it is, so you know, we, He's moving. And the other two down there, they've been up there now. 46 hours, you know, something like that. Different. Oh, all these bottles and cups. This is uh, this is where the police have the coffee. And the bottles of water, then stick them in the lorry here. So you can tell how long the police have been here, yeah? Isn't that nice, yeah? It's Thursday. <laughs> Thanks, Wendy. It's, uh, what time is it? <laughs> it's like... Surfing USA, yeah? Right, so we, you, can, you can hear this lorry's ticking over now. Look at this. Yeah. That's, uh, that's the police have done that. Yeah, this, I mean, that's us. We'll move that. <laughs> the word from our sponsors, Mar Baker's Cafe. Please, please use, if you're ever in the area, please, please use Mar Baker's Cafe and Cake Shop. Let's get some money back to them. They're losing a the fortune. I'm really, really sorry about it. But the police, the police keep uh, breaking. You know, the police keep blocking the road completely and don't let people in. So that 
unfortunately don't want to affect any local uh, any any local business you know but these things happen Between the wheels. That might have been there. Uh... Oh, uh, no, it was a plastic bag. It's a plastic bag. It looks like it's a bit of a water bottle container. Somebody's been nice and put his cup in there. There it is, just there. Yeah, more bakers, yeah. Oh, we got bakers. Oh, sausage and bacon sarnie. Oh, Honest. seagulls are flying. Legal observers are writing. Kevin's updating his Facebook. So we were sat in the polytunnel this morning. <laughs> yeah, just having a. And somebody came walking in and said, "Log on." And. Uh, yeah, we thought, we thought, uh, we thought the, uh, we thought it was brilliant. We heard there was a two-car lock on at the gates, and uh, so yeah, wow, everybody was happy as hell and cheering. And then we found out there wasn't a two-car lock on. The police had blocked the road in order to facilitate a 15 lorry convoy going in. So, no, they're not devil's horns. The goats. The goat horns down the side, the black and white checks down the side of the hat. Yeah, goat goat horns, not devils. What, having goat horns down the side of the hats? No, 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 some goats are good climbers. Some goats aren't. The ones who wear Mickey Mouse socks that aren't. I've got a live stream. I love his socks. I just, I'm just made up with those socks. I got them on live stream. Legal observers writing. That's what they do. They just stand around and write. I don't know what they write. No, I. Foxes are coming. He's blunt, but he can't. Right, it's too early, so the sound system is not in full of... The DJ's there waiting for the sound system to come out again. <laughs> uh, did you ever get your fag? Did you get your cigarette? Polluting the atmosphere, man, eh? You call yourself an eco-warrior. Right, yesterday in Devon, right... A 67-year-old eco warrior with a big had a, a chase down the M5. He held the police off for 10 miles down, down the M5 <laughs> on a push bike. <laughs> People are saying, "Are you in Devon, Foxy?" No, it's not me. <laughs> hey. <coughs> He held the police at bay for 10 miles down the M5. Huh? Eh? <laughs> 60, 67 year old. Oh, yeah, I've seen it. <laughs> People are saying, Is this you, Foxy? It's not me, I'm here. Hey? I'm nowhere near you, Devon, folks. But somebody says, This is your doppelganger. It's like. Next nobody, thing. Nobody else is that unlucky, are they, Foxy? I know, yeah. <laughs> no, have you seen that picture of the old guy on a skateboard? Like, down like this. No. He's about he's about seventy year old, like you know, just just got shorts on. He's going down a hill on a skateboard. I get that picture about ten times a year. <laughs> <laughs> just you, Foxy. <sighs> right, uh, things have calmed down. I think they might. I wonder if I wonder if they're going to let us. Eh? Got, <laughs> a push bike, yeah. It's a. Uh, it's on my timeline. Somebody posted it to me on my timeline. You've got a doppelganger, Foxy. No, no. Just, you know, 
Oh, No Bear Dental Songle. I've got really good memories of No Bear Dental Songle. <laughs> that's uh, that's the French Eddie Stobart. They're all over the place. Uh, no Bear, No Bear, No Bear Dental Songle. That's really nice. It brings back a lot of memories of uh, protests in France and uh, lorry surfers on top of No Bear. <laughs> anyway, that's another story. Allegedly, I allegedly I was at a protest in France many years ago. <laughs> just seen a No Bear Dental Songle lorry go past. French lorry, yeah, yeah, yeah. just brought back fucking loads of memories. <laughs> what? What? No, about, about the about the bike on the M5. Yeah, you can uh, Google it. Yeah, or go on my timeline. Somebody's post. I don't know if you can see. Somebody's posted uh, on my timeline a uh, uh, the press reporter, you know, from a local newspaper about an, uh, an old ego warrior ch being chased by the police down the M5. <laughs> Dev the Devon Times, I think it was, if I remember rightly, but there you go. <laughs> That'll double their circulation, huh? <laughs> right. Oh, we've got HQ have moved over now. HQ, HQ. Hey. Hey. Yeah, the French have got a moratorium, yeah, on on, uh, on fracking, yeah. So we believe, anyway, allegedly. <laughs> yeah, but, uh, they both experienced legal observers. Them too. These two, they're both, both experienced. New team. What's happening here? What's happening, eh? Anyway. <laughs> oh, don't. It's class, man. Eh? Can somebody confirm? I can neither confirm nor deny that I was that man on the bicycle on the M5. <laughs> somebody's... Somebody's... Somebody's pinched a mini road sweeper in Peterborough and there's a five mile an hour police chase. Oh my god. <laughs> it gets worse and worse, man. Come on, people, give us a stupidest. Hey, can anybody beat the five mile? The most ridiculous five mile news story of the year. A mini road sweeper in a five mile per hour chase. Come on, Wendy. Jeez, come on, somebody's got to beat Wendy now, man. Hey? So we've got, we've, got, we've got an old guy on a bike down the M5. And we've got a mini, we've got a mini, oh, oh, I'm sure, yeah, the goats are here, they've all got the goat horns, eh? It just gets worse, anyway, there's nothing happening here at the moment, and, uh, eh, our surface, look, nobody cares, man, it's no good putting a fist in the air. <laughs> If you need if you need your pi pianos tuning, this man will be available. What in about you know in about five hours, <laughs> six hours, once the police are finished with him. I love the sign underneath them. Look, exceptional is normal. This guy, this guy is truly exceptional. Yeah, look at it. It was written for him. I'm gonna hold this really still, so you can all get your you get your screenshots. That's it, that's the money shot. There you go. Get the money shot. Exceptional is normal. Exceptional, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Some, somebody. <laughs> so. yeah. It's too early in the morning. He's a piano tuner. Piano tuners can't play the piano.
Why are they doing this? I bet he can. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> right. We're gonna we get we get a Steinway baby grand flown in. And it's gonna be held in front so you can have a concert for us. Eh? He'll say it's not in tune. <laughs> oh. Right, my legs starting to burn, me, me war wounds playing up. Aye, aye, aye. Oh. What does that mean on your shoulder? Me, inspector. Yeah. Oh, are you? Yeah. One of a few. Yeah. Oh. One of a few. So we have. One of a few, exactly. Not the voice of the many. He's he's an inspector as well. Has he got two or three pips? If he's a three pip, or it's the chief inspector. Well, oh, I can't see from here. I don't know, I can't see many pips. The two stood with the backs to us there from HQ. What, the dark ones? Yeah, them two. The, the, the... 1907, I was talking to him, 1907. Yeah. <laughs> and the other one with the... So he's got orange lapels, evidence yeah, gatherer. Yeah. So those three, two from HQ and the, the evidence gatherer. This guy here, we think he's a bronze commander on the on the on the floor today. He's got different lapels, so he's got red lapels. He's commander, so they've all so got. Is he, is he the one who's? No, the one in no him in the road in black. He's he's the one in charge at the moment. Yeah, he's on his radio there. He's bronze commander today here, so there's bronze commander. So there may be there may be a few bronze commanders who are like they're operational, and you've got a silver commander who's. Tactical, and then goal commander who's strategy. So, so it's all hierarchy. That's why they can't understand us being autonomous and you know because we are horizontal who make decisions. He he gives he gives the rest of them orders and they follow. You know that's it. Or just following orders anyway. We're just ignoring you. Just keep watching the pictures. It's no good typing me. I'm not reading the bloody screen. We're having yeah. See, we can't have a conversation. Uh, on the piano, I saw on the piano, I haven't got a clue what happened before that though. <laughs> he will be giving, uh, yes, concerts, he will be uh, appearing on lorries around the country. <laughs> He's, he, yeah, we've got him booked in for Leith Hill. <laughs> yes, appearing at Leith Hill next week on a lorry coming near you, the piano tuner. Honest, we're going to make a film about him. It's called rolling resistance. It's not rolled for 48 hours. <laughs> so, yeah, that's what, all right. Something's happening at the front. Looks like legal. All right, sorry, folks. It's happening at the front here. Looks like we're moving. They're moving the people. Yeah, they've moved the rock. Oh no, they've taken the oh, HQ. No, here they are. The dragon. Oh, oh, I've got to run. You know, oh, second rock. Hey. Right. Cool. We've got all the legal observers here. Witness, and now. Uh, okay, so. Things are happening now. Public nuisance have been arrested for. Arresting officer 3029, arresting officer 4081. So they're both being arrested now.
once again, you know, if you read the rules about handcuffs, you know, there's no need for handcuffs again, you know. Totally peaceful protesters. If you look at the police, you know, their rules and regulations and recommendations about the use of handcuffs, there's no need for handcuffs. Totally peaceful. People will walk down to the van. You know, look, there you go. One's got handcuffs on. No need for handcuffs at all. People will walk freely. But no, they've got to put the handcuffs on. Yeah. No need at all. No need for handcuffs at all. <coughs> they must... The use of handcuffs stipulates that they should have a reason for, for putting handcuffs on. But there's not. You know, there's no reason. He said he'd walk freely. There's no need, but there you go. Look. No need for handcuffs at all. Yeah. There is no, there's no threat of resistance. There's no threat of absconding. So there's no, there's no, there's no need at all. Yeah, that's it, Sean. Yeah, we've all read the manual. Sadly, they haven't. You know, there's no threat of resisting or or need at all for using handcuffs. But as you saw, that both of them, both of them have been put in handcuffs. They've both been. Uh, They've both been backstacked. The police manual says handcuffs are only required if there's a threat of resisting or absconding. And there's no there's no threat. You become part of the abuse. Yeah. You know, I'm afraid. If you can't be neutral, you can't think, oh I'm doing my job. No, that's all they are. Just doing my job, mate, just following orders. Yeah. Anyway, so so two more arrests. We had a few arrested in front of the other lorry. He was in front of the piano tuner. So that's it. So now we've got another. We've got a another lorry surfer here. He's joined in the action. Brilliant. Let's hope he stays there for 48 hours as well. Hey, big chair. Big chair. <laughs> Just been photo shot with a big uh, hey. frack off. Yeah, get past there, mate. Oh. There we go. It's all kicking off. I think the piano tuner's up there writing his memoirs. It's all going to come out of a book. Steven Spielberg's going to make the film. Hey? Right. I'm, uh, I'm just going to... Uh... Oh, yeah, Nuremberg 1950. Just, uh, you know, just following orders. Right. Uh, we don't know which... I don't, we don't know. The legal observers will find out. Yeah? 
Right, so uh, we'll just. I'm gonna. Uh, I've got to go somewhere, okay. and I'll, I'll be back. All right. Thanks, I'll. Uh, Foxy News, Preston New Road, Thursday. You know, whatever date it is, and whatever you know, what date and time it is. Make your own minds up. All right. We have a little. Yeah. All right, there. Uh, I'll be. I'll be back. I just need to go somewhere. There we go. Bye bye. Bye bye, sleepers. Net pull. Net pull. I don't know what you mean. Net pull. You can share it with Kevin and all them at net pull. But anyway, uh, I've got a. I've, yeah, news at ten. BBC, ITV, they just ignore it completely, you know. Huh? So, I've got, I've got to go for a weird six. Bye bye. <laughs> All right, yeah. We had a camera crew yesterday as well, but uh, maybe the camera crew won't come here. If the, you know, we'll see what happens. I'll be back. I'll be back soon. You're not going to watch what I'm going to do next. Bye bye.